Now we move to that shooting on a campus this morning. The crime scene is a dorm. It's on the Texas A&M University Commerce Campus. That's northeast of Dallas, about an hour's drive or so. We have team coverage tonight. J.D. Miles, Andrea Lucia, both on this. We're, J.D., we're going to start with you and what police are and are also notably not saying about the investigation so far. Educate us. Doug, let's first talk about where this happened. This map shows it happened in an area on the southwest corner of the campus where there are a lot of clusters of dorm rooms. There's still a crime scene there, but police have opened up the campus and they tell us right now there's no immediate threat to other students. Police crime scene tape still surrounds the scene of this morning's shooting at the Pride Rock Residence Hall, which is a student dorm hall. Just after 10 a.m., a student reported hearing gunshots to campus police. Arriving officers found the victims and a two-year-old child who was alive. Messages went out to students immediately to shelter in place fearing an active shooter on campus. All entrances and exits were sealed off by authorities. After two hours, the order to shelter was lifted and students resumed moving around campus. The university's police chief read a statement but would not answer questions. Officers re responded and found two deceased adult females in a room. A third person, a small child, approximately two years old, whose unstable uh, condition was also in the room. Additional details will be provided as the investigation process uh, proceeds. The campus police chief says the two-year-old that was injured in some way is in stable condition and expected to recover, but there's still a lot of unanswered questions. No names of victims released. No explanation by police about what may have happened and no information about whether there may be any search for a suspect. Live in Commerce, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you very much for the update. That's the investigative side now, and from that, we'll go to student uh, and reaction we get uh, from students who are on campus tonight. Andrea Lucia, with that part of the story, what are you hearing? Well, it's been very hard on students here. First, I want to show you, though, this is Pride Rock just behind me, uh, the residence hall where the shooting happened. Uh, you might be able to make out the, the name right up there on the sign and just below it, the words, Welcome Home. But it has been quiet here. Not a lot of activity except for the occasional police officer or security guard walking out. These dorms are usually reserved for freshmen and for athletes. The university has not confirmed if the two women who dined here lived in these dorms or even if they are students at the university. I talked to some students who do live here, though. They told me it takes a key card to get into the building and even then to get past several doors inside. They didn't see or hear the shooting, but like all other students, received that alert on their phone about police activity. They later returned to find their dorms taped off and were not able to get back inside. Several students have talked about how difficult this is in light of a deadly shooting just three months ago at an off-campus party in Greenville. Hundreds of people attended that party. Most of them students. Two people died and a dozen others were injured in that, in that shooting. Uh, and that is all, again, very fresh in their minds as this is going on. You didn't have to be there to be traumatized. You could have like, seen the videos or knew somebody and they told you about it. It, just, it was horrible. So you felt traumatized by what happened in Greenville? Definitely. Definitely. And then having this happen right here is just, it's a lot going on. particularly difficult to deal with in this case, the two-year-old who was injured. Now, the university uh, has made counselors available in the student center for any students who need to talk to somebody or uh, need help processing what's happened. Reporting live in Commerce, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you, and thanks again to J.D. Miles as well. Chopper 11 gives us a pretty good overhead perspective of the campus, and specifically this dorm and the area around it where investigators are focused. We can tell you that the university has canceled all classes, all events and activities on campus, and that will stay that way through Wednesday this week. Updated information on all of this tonight when we see you at 10 o'clock, and, and as warrants when developments break, we'll get them, of course, on our website right away, and our social media channels.